Hello everybody and welcome to this beginner's guide of Tarkov. Today we are going to be focusing on raid preparation and why raid preparation itself is so very important within Escape from Tarkov. Now what is it that I specifically mean about raid preparation? Well raid preparation is all about what you want out of your raid. So essentially what is your raid goal? Why are you raiding at this point? What do you want the outcome to be of this particular raid? You know, is your goal going to be that you're wanting to complete a particular task? Is it the fact that you want to go into a raid and actually get any gear maybe off of players? Maybe you want to get just some random loadouts from scavs around the map. You should be understanding what your goal is every time that you're going into a raid and equip appropriately if you're going to be trying to get a loadout maybe you're not putting armor on maybe you're just going in with the pistol maybe you're going in with some very basic armor or and some very basic weapons to just try and kill a scav and, and figure out items that scav's got maybe take that out and have that in your stash ready for another loadout maybe you're going to fight players so perhaps you need to gear appropriately with that with higher class armors and better weapons and better ammo maybe some grenades perhaps you're completing missions and you've got a particular item that you actually need to have on your person or maybe you have to kill scavs wearing certain items or with certain weapons there are particular tasks like that it's always good to understand what your particular goal is for that particular raid now that leaves me on to the map itself and some map knowledge so when you click the Escape from Tarkov button, you are given two options. Your PMC, which is your main character, and then a scav, which is essentially you just begin the raid as a scav yourself. And you'll spawn in at a random time with a random loadout in a random location on the map. Once you have figured out what your goal is, you then need to figure out which map you need to complete your goal or task on. For example... Perhaps you need to kill scavs on customs, so you wouldn't need any particular gear. But you want to have gear so that you're able to actually kill scavs and not die. So in this instance, we'll click on customs. Now clicking on a particular map will give you a good amount of information on that map itself. So how long are you actually going to be in the map for? Or how long is a standard raid? What is the likelihood of other PMCs being within that particular raid as well? So going into customs, we know that we'll have 25 minutes to complete what we want and extract. We know that there will most probably be 7 to 12 other PMCs loading in with us. Another key metric to just check is what are the current weather conditions? So within this instance of customs right now, it says it's cloudy. Now if, if it's raining or anything along those lines, you can expect that in terms of sound, it's going to be harder to hear other people moving, harder to hear scavs shouting from a distance. So these are things that you need to consider definitely when going in and planning your raid. Now you'll also be given two select time phases. They are usually correspond there within 12 hours of each other. One will usually be in the AM and one will be in the PM. It completely depends on what it is that you want to do. Are you looking to complete missions and you don't really want to run into too many people? Maybe look for the early AM or the late night time phase. Or if you're just looking to be able to spot PMCs from a distance, spot scavs from a distance and have better visibility, maybe go for the one that's in the kind of late morning or early afternoon. Now, once you have actually selected where it is you want to go, as you'll move on, you'll have options to enable offline mode. Now, as a new starter to Escape from Tarkov, my best advice to anybody is learn the maps before you raid. Of course, I didn't, and I just got slapped about left, right, and center. Half of this game is all down to map knowledge. If you have a good understanding of a map, good understanding of where other PMCs might spawn, good understanding of where they may go, what they might do, which that does come with time, you will have a better advantage running into PvP scenarios. Now, once you're past the offline screen, you have the insurance screen. Now, insurance allows you to select what items it is that you want to insure and how much that is going to cost you. Now, in the early game, I always advise it is 
better to insure your items, especially if you're playing the game post wipe. If you first start in the game and there are loads of players that already have better gear and have been focusing on leveling up their traders, if you insure your loadout, you will most probably get some of that back. The final screen is the prepare to escape screen. If you are planning to go in groups or play with your friends, this is how you would essentially get into a party with a friend. Once you've added them on the system, then they will pop up and be at the top of this list here. Ensure that you've got the correct game time and the correct map. All you'll then have to do is when you see them, right click them and invite them to group. Now there's a couple of maps that you can use as a new player, I would advise using mapgenie.io. Now what Map Genie gives you is it gives you a completely interactive map of almost all of the maps across the game, except for reserve as that's currently a work in progress. If you don't use Map Genie, you can find all of the maps on the wiki. I will post both Map Genie and the wiki down below. If I click on customs, what Customs is going to give me is it's going to give me a, a nice interactive map of everything that I can expect across this map. As a new player, my advice to you is to hide all and then focus on what the extractions are. You will have your extraction name and whereabouts that extraction is located as well. It will also let you know kind of what you what the requirement is to extract so as you can see as i'm hovering over them some of them will have scav some of them will have pmc meaning that you can only extract as either a player scav or a pmc or in some cases both in terms of raid preparation it's important to understand what your route is going to be you will not know where you spawn until you've spawned into the game so what might be a good idea is also having a look at the potential spawn points and then figuring out a route from left to right or right to left especially with the likes of customs whilst in game if you double tap the O key that will then drop down the list of your extraction points something to note is you will not have access to every extraction point every raid you will only gain access to a certain amount of extractions per raid. They're usually in the likes of customs on the other side of the map. So please make sure that you're, you have a map available, you use that map, you understand where those extraction points are. As when I started playing, it was very, very frustrating not knowing where it is that I was going to be going. Okay guys, that ends this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode on raid preparation. Hopefully it's helped you guys understand maybe you need to do a little bit more prep before actually going into a map. What the different pieces you may need. Maybe the map genie or using the wiki itself has been very helpful to you guys as new players. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, please just let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them as best I can. But for now, thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.